Hello, this clip aims to introduce you to some simple but very important lab skills that you'll use throughout your time in A-level chemistry. So the three things we'll take you through are how to use a top pan balance to accurately measure the mass of a solid to two decimal places, how to use a measuring cylinder with accuracy and precision, and how to use a thermometer to accurately measure temperature to one decimal place. So before we start showing you how to use a top pan balance, it's important to point out that it actually measures mass, not weight, and the unit of mass that we use is grams. So, I'm weighing the weighing boat, and then I'm going to zero it, so the scale, the top pan balance reads zero, and I'm going to weigh citric acid, exactly one gram, so I'm looking for 1.00 grams. Whoops, I put in a bit too much. So I'll take a little bit out. And this bit's quite fiddly. So I'll take a bit more out. And then I'll add it back to get exactly up to the one gram that I'm looking for. There we go. And put the top back on. So there's a little bit of extra precision needed when you use a measuring cylinder certainly at A-level. We use a plastic pipette to add the liquid with greater precision towards the end, and we also read the volume in the bottom of the meniscus. So when you read the meniscus, the meniscus is basically where the top of the liquid sits, and there's a slight curve upwards where it comes into contact with the inside of the, the um, measuring cylinder. So it's very important that your eye is at the level of the bottom of the meniscus, as can be seen from the diagram. So I'm going to measure out 10 cubic centimetres of sodium carbonate solution. Uh, we can see the hazard symbol on the bottle, so it's much safer if you use a dropping pipette, um, a plastic pipette. This will take several squirts to get up to your 10 cubic centimetres. And towards the end, you need to add it dropwise. So I'm going to very carefully just add one drop at a time now and keep my eye level with the meniscus until I'm exactly up to the 10 line. So the really important thing to be aware of here is that your eye is level with the bottom of the meniscus like I'm pointing at my finger. Um, and it's indicated in the diagram as well. So the markings on the thermometer are printed to the nearest 1.0 degrees centigrade. So the thermometer's precision is to the nearest 0 0.5 degrees C. So as such, the temperature can be either on the line or between the lines. If it's on the line, it'll be a value with 0 0.0 next to it. If it's between the lines, it'll be a value with 0.5. As you can see, the example's 25.0 degrees C or 19.5 degrees C. So at the start of the experiment, I'm going to transfer the 10 cubic centimetres of liquid into a clean boiling tube and measure the initial temperature. I need to put the thermometer in the solution and wait a little while to make sure that the thermometer is reading accurately and hasn't changed. Here we can see the value is above 20 but below the line for 21. So I'm going to record that as 20.5 degrees C.